Greetings, it is uh, March uh, 13th, I believe, 2013. I just uh, framed the uh, Sightseeing with Dignity art series drawing number 16, which was done in uh, 2011 for the uh, forthcoming uh, Seattle Central Community College exhibit of my Holocaust selected uh, artworks of mine, Holocaust themed and human rights themed as well. This uh, drawing was based on, uh, inspired by a photo I saw in the book called uh, Without Sanctuary, Lynching Photography in America, which was published in uh, 2000. Horrific images in the book, although an important educational resource in terms of the, this sordid and horrible history uh, in American life of lynchings, mainly of African Americans mainly males. There's uh, one woman pictured in the book, African-American woman who was lynched. Uh, there are two Italian-American immigrants who were lynched in Florida. They were uh, perceived to be uh, labor union sympathizers. This is in the 1930s. There's one Jewish man who was lynched, Leo Frank, around, I forget what year, it might have been 1919. Uh, also in the Deep South, the uh, drawing I did here is uh, of Reuben Stacy. Uh, no age was given. He looked to be young, African American male, and he was lynched in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, in 1935. One of the more appalling uh, uh, things about the, this history, at least in terms of the photographic part of the history, is that the Photographs uh, were frequently made into uh, postcards, uh, postcard, whatever, printers, publishers, and people would send them to their friends and relatives around the country. Uh, and in many of the photographs you can see people watching the lynching, mainly whites, uh, kind of in a celebratory way. I uh, chose to depict his uh, hands and the forearm of his right arm there separated from his body because when you look at the so many of the photographs of these lynched people um, when people are hung like in, in prison executions the bodies hang straight down but with so many of the lynching uh, images the bodies are completely contorted like they've been torn apart probably from being pulled yanked uh, pulled behind vehicles, dragged along the ground, and so on. So that the, the dislocation of uh, life of, of limb is uh, really profound in the, uh, uh, and looking at the, uh, the bodies of the uh, victims. There you have it.